Guys, I think we need to have a little talk with a few of the viewers out here, the few of the new people that are coming into the space. Today's video, I wanna look at why I think the cycle is bound to repeat. If you like the sound of that, you know the deal. Subscribe, like, share the video with someone who you think needs to see this. So, yesterday's video I put up was selling ADA. The other days I've been talking about Cardano going to $3, ADA crash, next ETH killer, never sell ADA, question mark. And I think this stuff is confusing a lot of people who only read headlines. And I know that's not the majority of you because I can see you come into the videos and you like them up, you know, 93%, 98%. There's two, three, 4,000 uh, likes, which means at a 95%, 5% of 2,000, there's probably 100 dislikes, something like that. So I know it's the majority of people understand this. I think it's the, the minority. And maybe that'll play onto people later in the cycle. What I'm talking about is learning to do your research and understanding what is happening in the market. Uh, like I said, everyone sort of should understand this by now, but new people get into the space, new people into investing, trading, don't even know the difference between investing and trading, uh, are starting to get a little bit confused with what's going on. Sure, maybe you could blame the thumbnails, maybe you can blame the titles, maybe you can blame search engine optimization, you can blame the YouTubers, you can do whatever the hell it is you like. At the end of the day, it's up to you to make your own decisions. And if you dislike something, you're probably better off not watching it, giving it any sort of engagement. All right, first thing I have on my list is some people, like I said, are only looking at headlines. All I had to do with this video, there was a, quite a few comments on yesterday's video, selling ADA. Uh, all you had to do is go back to this video, never sell ADA, and within the first 15 seconds, I literally talk about a, an exit strategy. All right, so that's why I think people are just looking at headlines and then running to the next thing and saying, what the hell's going on? I don't understand. It literally says in the, the thumbnail, crypto exit plan. So before I get a little bit into it, I'm gonna show you that video, just the first 15 seconds. And I'm gonna go through a couple of other videos, one from Coin Bureau, which I know a lot of people love, does do a lot of good educational content, not necessarily anything to do with trading or knowing when to get in and out, but very good education on the particular projects. And then also from another channel, which I love and I've talked about before, Benjamin Cohen discussing market capitalization and price. It's literally a five minute video. I'm gonna show about 10 seconds of it of Ben drilling people about market caps because the other problem that came up was that I am pumping and dumping. And I guess YouTubers are pumping and dumping it. If you understand just because something is cheap, quote unquote cheap, doesn't mean you can pump it. ADA is a dollar now, you know? Yes, look, it went down from yesterday's video. Maybe Jason's channel dumped the price of Cardano. Absolute nonsense. You have to look at the market cap and the market cap is around $30 billion, give or take. Maybe it's 40 billion, maybe it's 25 billion by the time you watch this. It's, I would say, almost impossible for my channel to pump and dump a coin in the tens of billions of dollars. Reason being is you need at least tens of millions to move it. And all we have to do is go across and have a look at the market cap and look at the volume traded on Cardano to understand if you can actually move the market. Now, I said I'm gonna show that other video, this video here first, just the first 15 seconds. Uh, before I do that, I probably have to mention again, the people who should be seeing this probably aren't seeing it and are just looking at the headline again, getting into their keyboards and being little old keyboard warriors and they just, they aren't doing their own research. I'm almost, sure of that. So be careful of that yourself if you're ever reading through comments because I doubt these people are reading anything. I doubt they're doing research. I think they're just following whatever they see in headlines and what they first hear when it comes to any sort of video. They might hear, buy a Cardano and they go and do it. So don't do it. These None of this is financial advice. It's how I'm looking at the markets. So the first video, never, with well, a Thumbnail is never sell ADA, crypto exit plan. First 15 seconds, look, nearly 6,000 likes. Gotta like your own videos. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Cardano, it's going nuts. So, we have to do another video on it. We're gonna update the chart, maybe even discuss the <sighs> exit plan. Now, I know that might be, God forbid. And it Within the first 10 seconds, I'm sorry. All you had to do was click on the video for the first, for 10 seconds, that's it. So, and I'm getting a little bit annoyed at this, but if we're going to progress and learn from our mistakes as investors and traders, 
we need to really do some research. Traders are in and out of the market. They can change their mind depending on their time frame that they are trading. One day they could be, yes, this looks like a buy. A sign happens within that same day and they can say, no, the, 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 the conditions have changed, I need to sell. So that is trading compared to investing where you look at the fundamentals, you look at some technicals and you'll buy into a position and hold that position for X amount of months or years. It depends on what you think is happening in the cycle. And to be honest, I know for a fact the majority of people don't understand cycles. Uh, it takes a lot of time to understand what's going on. The main cycle I look at, which you know, is my book back here is the land cycle. Now, it's a longer cycle than crypto. Crypto is different. It's probably a four to a six year cycle, something like that at the moment. And it will extend as more money comes into the market. It's not going to stay four years. That's my opinion and my understanding of how uh, markets will change as more money comes into them. So that was the first piece there. Never sell ADA, question mark. Uh, <laughs> looking at an exit plan when things get really, really bubbly and they heat up. Sure, look, I've got to play devil's advocate to, on myself here. A lot, a lot of new people coming in, probably saw this video because it did go pretty well, 138,000 views. They've come across and looked at some of the other videos. These have all done quite well as well with uh, Cardano. And then they see this one saying, I'm selling. That was only five days ago. Yeah, it, it's five days ago. I'm looking at the chart. Things were holding up as Bitcoin was coming down, but I didn't see ADA react. I didn't see it respond and begin to move up again when Bitcoin was uh, just sitting comfortably. And so that led me to think, Something's not right here. It started falling against Ethereum, like we looked at in yesterday's video. It fell against Ethereum, fell against Polkadot, fell against Binance, fell against Bitcoin's price. And so that was, to me, an early sign that I think I need to get some of my position out of Cardano because something isn't seeming right here. Lo and behold, Cardano has fallen. Yesterday's video we're looking at, it was around $1.20 when the video was uh, when I was filming. Now we're at a dollar and five with a low today of a dollar and two, a dollar and two seven. Call it a dollar and three if you really want to. I don't know if Cardano is going to continue falling from this point. The, the moves down are about the same at this point in terms of a percentage. We can see a 34%. We can see to this low a 33.5%, pretty much dead on. And we can see another 33 and a half percent. So at this stage, it's reacting almost exactly the same as it's done on the way up. But I don't like the look of very, very high volume tops with low closes. It means there was a lot of selling that came in to potentially dumb money that was buying up into this uh, period. And this happened to occur two and a half days before the hard fork, which we know a lot of people are buying up into hype which allows the smart money to sell into the dumb money. And then the dumb money is left holding. That's one theory. This is trading now, not talking about long-term investing. Cardano in five or 10 years, maybe it's worth 10 bucks or 20 bucks. I don't know. That is long-term investing. In terms of trading, the, the swings here, that was leading me to think maybe we're going to have a cool off period and Cardano might come down a little bit. Overall, I think the market's a little bit heated. We also have the US tech sector absolutely getting destroyed and the Aussie markets also come down. So a lot of the markets are starting to feel that and we're seeing that in our sector, in, in our asset class with technology also coming down. Uh, obviously the entire crypto space is technology. Everything is digital, it's all technology. So I believe that we'll start to see those effects roll out. It hasn't rolled out so much in crypto, which is amazing, but I'm not gonna take that chances with my entire portfolio and leaving it exposed to cryptocurrency when the US markets are also uh, coming down a lot. The technology side, the NASDAQ, that is, that is getting absolutely destroyed. If you don't believe me, check out some of their stocks. Taking a look at Tesla as one of the examples, the high was 900, crashed to 600, now sitting at around 620. Apple is very similar as well. It's also had a very big fall from $145 down to $120, not looking like it's going to stop here. You know, we've got a, a quite a big quite a big volume. Let's see what happens on Monday. But look, overall, the whole tech sector here has just been destroyed over the last couple of weeks. Going back to cryptocurrency and why I think the cycle is in full swing yet again, we're just seeing a repeat. We're seeing a lot of primitive, primal behavior 
jumping behind a project and saying you should never, 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 never sell. You know, just staying with it forever. So looking at what we've got here, let's move on to our next piece. And we just have a look at, at Bitcoin. Bitcoin having a little hard time here and small double top and it's our first swing out of the low. So I'm still hopeful that we're going to see some sideways action on Bitcoin. Even if we do happen to break down from these lows, I'm not overly concerned. So in terms of an investment, buying the dips in this scenario is something that I like to do here. Honestly, I hope you can believe I can't move the Bitcoin market by talking about Bitcoin. That's going to lead me into something at the end of the video talking about the portfolio as well. So the next piece I wanted to show you is something on Coin Bureau's video. Now let's take a quick listen to our friend Guy at Coin Bureau and his if thoughts. If you're wondering how high ADA can go, the short answer is that it depends on Bitcoin and Ethereum. This is because there are literally no other cryptocurrencies left for ADA to overtake. Now I love Cardano, but I don't think it will be bigger than Bitcoin anytime soon. I also don't think Cardano is going to be bigger than Ethereum during this bull market. Before you object, allow me to explain. From where I'm standing, the only thing that's holding Ethereum back is its high gas fees. All right, so I'm going to leave it there, but you can watch the rest of this video if you haven't already. Looking at this, I also agree. It's what I've been talking about when it comes to Ethereum's price. I don't think Cardano is going to overtake uh, Ethereum, which means we have to understand market caps. Leads me over briefly to Ben Cohen. Let's have a listen to Ben having a little serve at everyone about uh, price and market capitalization. We've seen this every cycle. Every cycle we see this. A lot of new people come in, they look at various cryptocurrencies, and they only look at the price to determine whether it's cheap. There's people throwing hundreds of thousands of dollars into cryptocurrencies because they're quote unquote cheaper than another cryptocurrency. The idea that something is cheaper when looking at the price is completely irrelevant. Completely irrelevant. Just because the price... I'm going to leave it there. It's completely irrelevant. I think pretty much 95% of people understand. Maybe 98% of you guys watching understand that. Therefore, when we talk about big market cap coins, there is almost no way in hell that anyone can pump that. So I'm going to lead across to that when I talk about the portfolio. Here we are at SwiftX in the demo portfolio. We're on the demo here and I make that very clear. Maybe I don't make it as clear as I should in every single video, but I do talk about it very often. So demo portfolio, these are the coins here that I'm following. Then this is the portfolio down here. Now, I was in two minds of doing a, a portfolio. One is because it's great to be able to track something. The other is I don't want people just buying what I have here. So I have considered and maybe I will just sell out of most of this and just hold three to five cryptos for the entire bull market and then find a point at the end or a price that I'm happy with, with and just sell out. Because I still think you can get, you're gonna get four to five X depending on which coins we hold and just hold that and it's just a nice safe way into the highs and we can we don't have to f like worry about it so often so i'm still in two minds about that after people just taking too too much uh, for granted in terms of not doing their own research and just buying whatever it is i have sitting in this portfolio i don't think that does a, a service to the viewer and is definitely not doing a service to me so I'll have a look at this in videos to go by, uh, but otherwise I still think it is a pretty decent chance to get a good return out of this. The other side to this is it's a demo portfolio. So even if I buy something on here, I'm not affecting the market, which I thought was a good thing compared to if I'm showing you in a video, I'm gonna go out and buy some small cap coin that has a very low market cap and then I purchase it and then the video comes out and you guys purchase it. Well, that's just like a pump and dump and I, I don't think that's a good thing. So the demo, it can't happen on a demo because this isn't literally going into the market. So there's the pros and the cons to the portfolio. So uh, like I said, we'll see what happens with this. Now, in terms of the tax implications and trading, yes, that is a very real uh, problem that people, the rest of us are going to have if we are trading cryptos in and out all the time. So I understand that from a point of view if people are looking at these videos and just taking the headlines and the thumbnail text and then going and doing what it says in the thumbnail text or not doing it or just making up their own story in their head and then buying it that is going to have some tax implications on their own portfolio so that i could i read in a few of the comments that they were like well you just want to buy and sell and buy and sell and what about all the tax i'm like well fair enough but you should be looking after your own portfolio not just following 
uh, a random on the internet, just like every other YouTuber out there. This is just literally my uh, trading portfolio, my trading thoughts. It's my trading journal. If you don't have your own trading journal, I seriously recommend getting yourself a trading journal, whether it's a notepad, whether it's making videos on YouTube, whether it's talking on Instagram or Twitter and just keeping a track of that, even if no one watches it or reads it, it's just a good way to understand what it is that you are tracking on a daily or weekly basis, whatever time frame it is, it really helps. And I've talked about that in previous videos when it comes to setting up your own trading plans. Now to summarize everything in today's video about why the proof is there that the cycle will continue. Then I'll talk about what it is I'm doing next because the market is of course crashing at the moment. There's a lot of uh, cryptos which are down 5, 10%, which we know at the end of the day isn't that big of a deal in crypto. However, it still does scare some people. I'll talk about that. So to summarize, proof is there. We have the zealots. The zealots are out, Cardano, 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 never sell, hold it till the end. That is the sort of stuff that I definitely saw in 2017. They were there for uh, XRP and they still are, they're still there for XRP. Sorry to those guys. They have been there for Litecoin. They have been there for Ethereum. They have been there for Bitcoin. They've been there for Stratus, some of these old projects which are no longer. They were there for NEO. NEO, no longer. You never hear about that anymore, do you? So there's a lot of this stuff. Just don't be a zealot and you should make some decent money. It's not that hard. That's the proof to me that we are really in this bull stage of the market. I don't think anyone's disputing we're in a bull stage, but it's getting worse and worse and worse. And that usually happens the higher we go. Percentages, go and watch Ben's video here, explains that. If Cardano is a dollar, it doesn't matter if I buy something else that's worth $50,000, it's the market cap that makes a difference. If it's 50 grand and there's only two of them on the market, or if it's a dollar and there's a billion of them on the market, this 50 grand still has better potential to skyrocket compared to the dollar, uh, the dollar crypto or stock. If you don't understand market capitalizations, check out Ben's five minute video where he'll just serve you a new asshole. All right. So that's a really, really, it's basic. It's so basic. Check it out. You need to understand if you're ever going to do well in any sort of investing. So in summary, people who probably need to watch this, I doubt have watched it, especially with me rambling for the entire 20 or 30 minutes, however long this video is. Uh, in terms of TA, I don't think they understand what technical analysis is, nor do I think they understand what trading or investing is. If that's, if that's you and you want to learn, great. Understand the difference between trading and investing. Investing is more long-term, trading is very much short-term, and the ideas have to change on a regular basis if the evidence is there to change. Now, fundamental analysis, Again, I don't think they understand what that is. Fundamentals are fantastic. It's I find it a lot easier to look at fundamentals and use those to project for the long term for the project. So if that's the case, stick with the investing, not with the trading. Two things you can do those. You can have a portfolio just for investing and then maybe a smaller portfolio to play around with and gamble on trading and uh, doing shorter term investments as everyone seems to call them. I hope by this stage, if you're at this part of the video, that you're not just someone who reads headlines and then moves on. Dig a little bit into it, understand it, take what you need from it and uh, piece an, uh, an idea together and make a decision on that. Pumping and dumping, can't do it. 80,000 subscribers, tens of thousands of views. It's impossible to do that on a crypto uh, coin that has tens of billions of dollars in market cap and probably tens or if not hundreds of millions, probably billions of dollars in trading volume. You need a lot of trading volume in order to push a price. So much easier to do it on small altcoin gems, which you see a lot of those sort of videos. So those ones, which really small market caps, that's gonna be so much easier to push those prices. In terms of portfolio, safety, Coin Bureau, Coin Bureau talks about that a lot. It says, don't show your portfolios to anyone. I agree with that. It's something that I don't do unless it's my retirement fund, which is basically looked after by the government. Well, I mean, I trade it, but in terms of moving the money or taking it out, the government will slap me with a massive fine. I can't take that money out until I'm 65. 
So that is a different kettle of fish in my opinion. I don't think showing portfolios is a very smart idea. I don't think telling people about what you have uh, on social medias or anything like that, I don't think it's a very smart idea at all. In terms of a percentage of what's in a portfolio, different story, but not the amounts that you have of each. I think that is getting a little bit too crazy, especially seeing as you don't have an army or a police force to back you up. Little hints on Coin Bureau's video, I think he's probably selling some of his ADA for gains. And he mentioned it in a newsletter recently, I believe. But if prices spike, don't be afraid to take profits. That's my position. I want to move some into stable coins, into fiat, into something else. So I've got profits, I've got something to show at the end of all of this bull market. The last thing I want to do again is ride up a bull market, ride it back down. That sucks. Take the profits. It feels so much better. It feels even better to take the profits even if that coin goes 10x. Doesn't matter. Now, what next? And that's what I'm going to wrap up with. What I've been looking at is pretty much Ethereum. Yes, it's really, really boring. But Ethereum is looking pretty stable at the moment, especially after this fall. Now, the volume does worry me down here. But again, I have to just make decisions with what I have right now. We have big volume on the spike down and we haven't seen the market fall any further. We do have very much lowering volume, which I want to see what happens next. But if everything begins to check out, so I'm not buying it right now, but it's setting up into a better position, then I think Ethereum is a much better play at the moment. At the moment. I'm not saying you should go out and buy it at all. If I look at Ethereum USD, it's also been setting up nicely. Big volume bar down another volume bar, high above average, above well above average, and it's basically been stopping the market, which is good. And we saw a little bounce here. Is that the last of it? Who knows? But it's looking much healthier than some of the other projects, at least the bigger projects at this point in time. Because overall, a lot of things have been very, very extended, and it's a hard uh, place to then just go and throw some money in. Sometimes it's better just to hold the money in, in stable coins fiat. It's better just to hold the cash and wait for a better opportunity. That's what I've learned from a lot of traders. It's a, it, you're, just, you're gonna do just as well if you can retain your cash for better opportunities than you are if you're just gonna throw the money in all the time, no matter what, when you don't understand what the hell's going on. So there are ways to make money if you're just holding the cash and you're just waiting for that time. Yes, I understand you could be waiting and the market continues to go up, right? But we have seen a pretty decent correction. Personally, I'm okay buying a little bit now, but I'm not going all in. And I could regret it later, but I, we don't know. We are trading this side of the market here. That's what's going on, all right? So that's pretty much it for this video. It's been very, very long, very different. I hope you learned something from it. Let me know in the comments if you did learn something from it, I'd be I'd love to hear from you. You know what to do if you enjoyed it, like the video up, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon. Uh, you can join me on Instagram, check us out over there, Q and A's basically on the daily. There's been a lot of questions and I'm trying to get back to as many as I can. Instagram link is down below. Also the investor accelerator is down below. Thank you very much guys. I know the majority of you have enjoyed and you really enjoy it. I love seeing your comments with the growth that you're getting and uh, some of the, just you're waking up and you're seeing certain things that is going to help you a hell of a lot in your investment journeys. So really enjoy reading those, keep them coming. Thank you very much. See you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out.